Hey guys, Tommy here from Berwick Mitsubishi. Today, today we're taking a look at this 2017 Ford Ranger Wild Track uh, Mark II. So it's a 4x4 dual range as well in uh, Pride Orange. Really, really nice car. This one's got really low Ks with just over 20,000 on the clock. Um, this one has also got heaps of aftermarket gear on it as well. Uh, we've got a 5-speed 3.2 litre turbo diesel engine in them. Uh, 4x4 dual range with a 5 star ANCAP rating as well um, and 8.9 litres per 100 k's now over, that's overall so yeah guys this thing has got a wide range of um, aftermarket features so we've got tow bar we've got um, all terrain tyres with upgraded rims you've got spotlight, spotlights, bull bars, winch um, roof rack setup, snorkel, underbody protection it's got an ARB rear bar and ARB side steps too but I'll, as we go around the car, I will point them out so you can sort of see as we go. Um, so we'll start off with this first wheel here. Really good tyre. These, these wheels are massive. Um, no gutter ash whatsoever. Really good tread on those tyres too. You do get your side guard there in black. Um, continuation to the front. So you've got your um, ARB bull bar with the ARB spotlights as well. And then you do have your antenna, aftermarket antenna on there. You need to get your really nice headlights as well with some uh, daytime running lights too. You've got your Ford Ranger in the centre. And then you've got the winch just underneath as well. Which looks really good. Uh, this Bulba is compatible with all front your front parking sensors as well. So they're all integrated into it. And um, they are airbag compliant too, which is really good. Um, Paintwork overall in the car is really good. Like even the bonnets, it's nice and shiny. Uh, there's no imperfections in the paintwork. Really, really good condition. Um, we got this wheel here as well. Really good again. Good tyres on it. Um, as you can see here, 3.2 litre, six-speed auto. Um, we indicators on your mirrors on these. So you got your graphite grey mirrors with your orange car. Looks really, really good. Um, down to the side you do get your wild track sticker just there as well and you've got your ARB side steps just here too which is good um, you do get your rhino rack roof racks up here which is a good addition you know, put stuff up there you know you've got your side side hitches as well so you can load stuff on the side of the car too awnings and stuff like that um, you've got your diesel cap on your passenger side in these ones. Um, you do get the side flares too, which are all over the, on, on all four ends of the car. Um, you've got this wheel just here as well. Really nice. Uh, we've got our 4x4 sticker just here. Moving down to the back of the car. Um, so you've got Ranger as a sticker on the back of it with your Wild Track logo. Uh, you do get a reverse camera too. Um, this one has got an ARB rebar with all the sensors integrated into it as well. And then you get, do get your tow bar here too, which is really good. Um, excuse me. You also do get your mountain top hard roller co roller cover. Um, these things are very handy in the sense that you can lock it and um, keep everything locked away inside it, which is good to have. You've got your brake lights there, which are really, really big, nice and easy to see. They look quite good. Um, and then we've got our 4x4 here as well. More side guards. And then we've got our last wheel just there. Which is really good. And then this side, ARB side step as well. And then you've got the roof track from this side of the car too. <coughs> Sorry, and then you do have your snorkel as well, which does look quite good on the car. It really does complement it. Um, plus, the sound looks, the sound sounds better of it too. Um, this car is quite high off the ground as well, um, so it is a bit of a step to get in it. Um, now, with the wild tracks, you do get this nice interior here. So this is partly leather and a bit of a fabric on top of it as well, um, which looks really good. So you do get the wild track in the center there and then just a different range of colors sort of go with the interior of the car it is um power seats as well 
and then this one was built in March 2017 too. Um, let's just jump in. Okay, so um, to start off with, you've got all your, your automatic headlights and everything like that from here, just there. Um, you're locking and unlocking the door, you've got your window switches as well, so they're all there too. Um, so over here you've got your, there we go, your instrumental cluster. So you've got two digital screens and then you've got the, uh, the speed in the centre there. Um, you do get these buttons on the steering wheel where you can actually flick through so you can actually change how the screen looks and what stuff you want on it and stuff like that too. So there's plenty of options there, um, trip computer, fuel, um, drive assist, all that sort of stuff. You can all work it out from there. Then on this side with this stuff here, you can flick back, you can go to entertainment, look at the radio, navigation, and then you got phone as well just there. So you can flick through all those different settings. And then you got your speeds in the center, which looks really good, very nice and stylish as well. Um, you got um, really nice leather finish up here with the orange stitching, uh, no cracks or nothing like that on the dash, no fading, nothing like that. Sort of continues down to the rest of the car, which looks really good. And then, yeah, you've got your passenger seat just there. Um, Moving away to the touchscreen, so this is a really, Ford have done really well with their new infotainment system. Um, you get heated seats in here, which are all, which all work from the touchscreen, so there's no button for them. Um, you got navigation, Bluetooth, you got GPS inbuilt as well, um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You do also have a reverse camera, which comes up straight away. Cool thing with Ford's, because it's got a tow bar on it, you can tap this little plus just there, and it focuses right on the tow bar. So when you're um, hooking up to anything, you can sort of really see where, it, where you, it's hooking up, which is a nice thing to have. Um, as soon as you put it back into park, I'll jump straight back here. Um, very good speakers, they're very clear. Uh, there's a lot of bass in them too, so it's very balanced as well so yeah really nice to sort of listen to have a cruise in this thing and you really will enjoy it moving down to here we have got our um, climate control so you've got um you actually do have a cd player in this too which you don't get in a lot of cars nowadays but anyway you do have all your climate control stuff all just here um so you're hot in the cold and you can just do what you got to do with it um you've got two 12 volt chargers just here as well and then they've actually added in your red arc um brake controller as well so that's all set up there. You do get a UHF um, in the car too. Which does look pretty good. It just wired up just down there. Um, and then further down you do get two USB ports as well. Which is nice to have. Um, you do get a couple little buttons just here. So you've got your parking sensors. You can turn them off. Traction control. You've got your rear diff lock. And then you've got your heel descent mode as well which is good to have, and then a little bit further down, you've got your two-wheel drive for everyday driving, and then your four-wheel and, and four-low as well. You've got your um, gear sync just here, park to drive, you do get a quick sports mode, so if you flick it down and across, you've got your sports mode. Drives a bit more aggressively and stuff like that too, um, which is nice, and ha nice to have fun in it and stuff like that as well. Uh, you do get some cup holders here too, Really good service history on this one, being only 20,000 Ks, it's probably only had one, maybe two services, um, but they would be all done. Here is the back of the car. Really nice uh, condition overall, there's no marks, no tears, nothing like that. You do get a bit of storage in the back of the seats as well. Uh, and you do have a 12 watt charger down there and a 200 watt, a 150 watt um, plug as well. So you can plug a laptop into it and stuff like that as well. Alright, so this one's also got a um, tub liner. It looks like it's got a compressor in the back too, which is an ARB one as well. Um, just extra bonuses you sort of get with the car. Here 
use the other side. And then your passenger side too. This is really good. Uh, really good carpets in the car too. All wild track and genuine. Uh, really nice finish all over the dash as well guys. So yeah, really, really nice. So you guys, best thing to do is come uh, have a visit with us at 20 to 32 Kengen Drive in Berwick. That's 20 to 32 Kengen Drive in Berwick. Ask them myself, Tommy, or any of our other salesmen. We're more than happy to help you guys out where we can. Uh, speak to us about finance with our business managers. Uh, we help businesses, sole traders, and general public, and then even answer us about our aftermarket. So we can supply Bulba, 